This is Misa. This is Misa Grand Duchess Rasmus Gooden, October 12, 2013, at 10.59 a.m. Ah, a little bit of commentary, a little bit of poetry today, but everything you know I write, it's fluffy, probably poet, poetic, but it has some social or ethical or ideological stigma behind it. Ah, the government shutdown. Are we unified as a people? I think if the government is shut down, we should all shut down. Meaning, where is the spirit of unity among the citizens and workers? Why should some be with and some be without? Why not we all call out? Then it would be a complete shutdown. And such is what we need to send a clear signal to all the multimillionaires in the government. Right? We don't hate them for their money. You know what I mean? It's time for something else. All right. Uh, some issues I want to talk about. You know, I have my Google Plus site. I wrote a nice little poem, and somebody says, what does that have to do with peace? What does that have to do? Why do I care about Muslims? Why do I care about orphan Muslim children? Why do I care about orphan children, period, and peace and, and, and poverty? Why do you care? Why don't you concentrate on something else? Well, guess what? I d some of us don't believe in God, and maybe that's good for you. It's okay for you. I, I appreciate that. Whatever makes you a happy person and gives you your center of uh, your namaste, your center of peace and happiness and unity, that's fine. But darling, um, why shouldn't I be concerned about innocent Muslim children that suffered, that are orphans? So, uh, they died by, their parents died by drone, drones and so forth and by the war. Why shouldn't I be concerned? If I am a godly person and believe in love and peace, what will happen to those children for the future? Will they become aggressive towards uh, the, the, the source that took their um, parents away? They have every right to be unjustly. Unjustly, their families were broken and taken away by greed, enmity, and lack of foresight and inability to communicate diplomatically and socially. Such is the ineptness that we have now in the government. It's it's self-evident. It's self-evident in Syria. It was self-evident in the whole preponderance of social issues that we face. And the United Nations, uh, as I say, uh, lacks the objectivity. I, I think they're getting more objective now after the debacle of Syria and the amount of intelligence that they have hidden from us to the true nature of the use of chemical weapons. But anyway, the debacle of what the United Nations is, human rights and so forth, it, 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 the mentality is um, it's a supported network. It's funded, and rightly it should be so, but it shouldn't be funded for opinion and justice and fairness. Ah, uh, so it's time for us to make a change. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this whole gay issue and gay whatever whatever love it I am glad I don't know why we have to think about you know every year America goes in this things uh, this thing about gay rights and human rights and black rights and affirmative action when will they realize that we don't need to pass law for humans to have the same right why are we subjugated from society instead if we are discriminated against because of um, being gay or sexual orientation or black, whatever, there there should be um, action, legal or whatever it is, civil action to um, to to make such uh, to make such acts um, criminal and so forth and accountable for, and therefore, as gay people, and as Marriage shouldn't be an issue. Fantastic. It's a state and civil thing. If the church wants to accept it, it's their uh, decision. But the churches need to step their game up. They have been at a loss for love and understanding for all this, for the last 30 or so decades. You know, their interpretation of the Bible are, is getting more, less secular and more normal. And you know what? good for them. It's about time they start to accept love and marriage and family for what it is and how it should be. 
you know it's time that we as gay people transgendered people and everyone who has a child like that to start step up this action and start getting some of our own people into where we need to be to, to bring that understanding that we don't need to pass laws on on um transgendered and every little difference in society rather we embrace it into our community we accept the diversity of opinion talent and um, unique ideas further expand the vastness of our understanding so that we can provide good service and civil rights to all it's time for us is to stop uh, to, 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 to get from behind some of these record artists, Jay-Z and hip-hop and all of these things. Remember back in the day when gay was such a shame and stigma, these people were the ones saying, fag this, fag that, whatever. Great, I'm glad that they're supporting gay marriage now. I'm glad that they reached that um, realization. But let's not let them lead our banner. Let's lead our own banner. Remember, they're just faces and fronts. And I don't know, uh, it truly to support something, we don't know what their true feelings are. We knew one time when they were young, they were our persecutors. Uh, and I'm not holding that against them. I'm just saying, let's push to the forefront, the newness, creep, uh, crispy, new people, people that have been a long time uh, fighting for these cause, people that are objective and diverse. Next thing I want to talk about is this sonar thing that they have in it that's Raytheon is taking over in the Navy. I don't work with it. I don't know it. But guess what, darling? If I wanted to, I could sink that idea and I would sell it to the highest bidder how to get around that sonar technology. It's quite easy. It's, it's a funny thing in, um, in, in the world when, when you never work with something but you have knowledge of it. And that is, as I will say, I, that's an example, people, of David and Goliath. One little pebble cannot one sucks 1.6 billion off his feet. And I just wanted to say it because I never worked with it, but I could sink it. And I know the weaknesses, and I know its strength, and I know how it could be used against whatever it's going to be used for. I just want people to know that. Say I've lost a fuse or whatever, darling, but Duchess knows what I am talking about. Ah, darling, such is life. We never can tell where strength, power, and intelligence, where the spirit to rise above the rest will come from. Another thing I want to talk about is uh, this little, um, our pension for the military and so forth. There's cer certain things I suffered at in the army and so forth was uh, a terrible career and I don't I I'm not hesitated leaving I look forward to leaving you know and but for what it is right I will not say some things that I have seen in the army as it relates to gay human rights um, discrimination and so forth I will not do it until after I have left because if I have, if I if if I say it now, you know, uh, I'm sure it can be counteracted, and I can be negated, but that's okay. I leave it the way it is. I always say, common sense and conscience should bring us to the forefront of change, not hiding what uh, the wrongs that we have done. But um, I want to reiterate that it's a time for change. We understand Iraq was a mistake. Let's stop making these mistakes. Let's start, start speaking again. Let's start understanding each other's language. Let's start, um, let's start one by one and let's start getting rid of all 30 years of Congress and the Senate, and let's put fresh new faces. This is me, the Grand Duchess Rasmus Conan. I only have 10 minutes. I'm, I'm not done, but I'm going to sign off right now. Bye-bye.